Oh, here we All go. All right. Here we go. Mystery caller. Mystery Tell caller. Brother, how you doing? <laughs> good morning. Uh, yeah, who is it? Who we got? Hey, good morning, Mr. Caller. Good morning. How are you guys? All right. I'm going to let Matt take over and ask you some questions, okay? I think he's already getting an inclination who it is, but go ahead, Matt. It's Wash. Oh, my <laughs> God. Come on, Wash. <laughs> Woo! I, t I told him he would know immediately. Yeah. I mean, That's he how had sharp you. he is. That's exactly how sharp he is. He had Man. you at hello. He had Dude. you at hello. The, un the unmistakable presence of Ron Washington in the morning. Wash, good morning. Thanks for calling good, in. Good morning. Good morning. And it is a very good morning. Man, Wash, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's so much to dive into. But I want to start before we dive into the Angels. I want to point something out real quick. We had the all MLB team yesterday. And the infield, I think there was five guys that used to be your former players that you've worked with. <laughs> I mean, that's got to make you feel pretty good. It does make me feel pretty good. You know, um, just as much as I've given to them, uh, they've given to me. And um, the, the most proudest thing that I really, really am of of those guys is the work ethic that they put in. I mean, they, they work, man. And the reward is exactly what it is right now today. Yeah, and then, and then we just saw, uh, we're looking at Albies here, but we saw a little shot of Austin Riley. And then I'm going to turn this over to Matt and let him start asking some questions. But um, Austin Riley, during the show, DeRosa said, hey, how much are you going to miss Ron Washington? And he says, I'm nothing without Ron Washington. I'm not here. I was garbage before he started to work with me. So what did you see in Austin Riley at third that transformed him from his own words saying, I was garbage, I couldn't catch a ball, to the perennial all-star we see? Well, I appreciate uh, Riley saying that, but uh, just like he said, he's nothing without me, I was nothing without him. Uh, what I've seen in him, Harold, is the guy is a stud, and I said that from the beginning. Um, he applies, uh, he's able to repeat, and, um, you know, he's such a, he got such great work ethic. And, I mean, you just can't teach that. Uh, he was born with that. I walked into the Braves organization, and he already had it in him. We just had to teach him the consistency of going out there and being a defensive player. And because of the work he put in, um, that's why he's on the all MLB team. And that attitude is why Matt is so excited to be still broadcasting with the Angels because you're going right. to be there working I, with those I guys. Can't, I can't wait for this season with Wash at the helm. I, but I have a big picture question for you, Wash, kind of related to what Harold was talking about. So, since you're back in the manager chair now, uh, I would imagine that your day is going to be very full. Are you still going to be afforded the time to work with individual players the way you did as a coach in Oakland? in Atlanta in some of the stops you've had success or is that stuff now going to get delegated to your staff? No, I will continue to do as much as I can. Um, I don't do the media till the afternoon. So uh, the period of time that I have between uh, the time I arrive at the ballpark and I do the media, uh, I will be out there being an assistant to my infield instructor, Ryan Goins. Uh, there, I think I would be doing organization a, a disservice if I didn't put my expertise out there. So um, that's what I do. I work every day, and I will continue to work every day. That's just a period of time I have to put on the side for the media. And when um, I don't have anything to do, I'm going to be on the field working. Uh, we're here for that. Uh, and, and the biggest thing is a motivator. So you got the job. We, we, t we spoke with you then. Uh, what, and you were going to go see Trout, maybe Rendon. Have you had those visits yet? You get a chance to visit those guys and what their, well, what their I, I reactions were? I had a chance were. to visit with Mike Trout. I haven't had a chance to visit with Rondon yet. I'm going to see Rondon right after Christmas. Um, I've been running since I've had the job. And um, I, this, I just got the opportunity to see Mike. And I got out of Philadelphia in time, so I didn't get flooded in. Um, but I got out of there <laughs> Thursday night, Friday night. And the flood came Saturday morning, so I got out of there on time. I don't think I'll have that problem when I go see Rendon. But uh, uh, it's just been so busy trying to put things together, trying to see where we are, uh, working hard on our needs, and um, trying to move forward. What, what do you say to a player like Trout? What, 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 what do you say? Well, you know, Matt asked me to wear a jersey, but I didn't do that. I went there as Ron Washington. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. And, um, I mean, all we discussed, I really didn't – ask anything of him. I just wanted to hear him tell me uh, where we are, what he thought we needed, 
how we needed to move forward. And, um, and that's what's the discussion. I, I didn't bring anything that I wanted out of him there. Uh, myself, uh, Bo Porter, and um, Eric Young, uh, we just sit down and listen to Mike talk. And um, I mean, what an individual. I uh, see why he's won so many MVPs. Hey, you just named a couple of guys on your staff, Wash, and I know along with your philosophy, that's a group, that's a triumvirate that likes to run. You guys like to press the action. Again, big picture question. You, you can only run as a manager if you got the guys that are willing to do it. So what's the balance there? How much can you push a roster that may not be geared towards stealing bases to become a little bit more stolen base inclined? Well, base running and stealing bases are two different things. Uh, you know, uh, Mike Trout can steal bases. Um, I'm more than certain that Rendifo can steal bases. Um, those type of guys probably can steal bases, but we just want them to be good base runners. Um, you know, when you can't take a bag, which we like to call it, not steal a bag, let's go take the bag. Then you have to do it in other ways. You got to look for, uh, you know, pay attention to the counts and when they throw in off speed, um, mainly paying attention to dirt balls and being able to read the ball before the ball hit the dirt. Uh, and those are the type of things that we will work on diligently in spring training. Uh, I just want to be a solid base running team. Um, as you said earlier, not many guys might, I don't, may not have the speed for many guys to steal a bag, but I do have some guys that can run. And um, we're going to put our emphasis on base running, not so much base stealing. Hey, you mentioned uh, Luis Renjifo a moment ago. I'm glad you did because that's a guy who really piques the curiosity of a lot of baseball people. Uh, can play multiple positions. He's got some pop. Switch hitter. He can run every once in a while. He kicks the one that's right to him, though. Uh, <laughs> that's a guy who I would imagine you can't wait to get your hands on to uh, to get going in the right way. Well, I can't wait to get my hands on all of them. But, again, let's not leave Ryan Goins out. He's a sharp little kid. I'll be there to guide him. I'm out there for, for, for help only. Um, I'm, I'm not the infield coach. So anything that happens to these kids, um, and I'm not worried about anything happening to him bad because I'm, he's on my watch. But anything that happens to these kids from this point forward, Ryan Goins deserves the credit, but I will be out there to assist. No doubt about it. Hey, Wash, well, the last question. Uh, you've been in this position before being the manager, and you were right there knocking on the door winning a title. Um, what have you learned from Ron Washington, the manager in Texas, that you would apply to Ron Washington, the manager in Anaheim because there's been a road travel between then. So what, what, what would you do different as a manager or what have you learned? Well, I think what I learned the most is patience because the, the, the players in the game today are very young. So you have to have patience. Uh, you have to stay in the process. Um, just trying to teach the game of baseball um, a lot more than I did in the past. Um, that's the one thing that I see the difference is. And a lot of people uh, might, may take that for granted. But uh, once I left uh, Texas as a manager and then the youth started coming to the big leagues uh, until I got this job again, uh, uh, paying attention to detail is very important. Um, understanding the game is very important. And when I say that, uh, the situations that occur in the game uh, the past uh, eight or nine years, um, I'm not blaming anyone, but uh, I just happened to land in the right spot with the Atlanta Braves. And those kids already knew how to play when I arrived there. We just had to make sure that they accepted that challenge every single day. So that's the one thing I see more than anything else. Harold is making certain that the game is respected. And when you get between those lines, you are able to do what the game asks you to do on every single night. And if you can sustain that type of stuff and be consistent at it, I think your success will follow. So um, that's the one thing, just stay in the process. Uh, be a lot more patient. Make sure you're teaching the game of baseball, no matter if it's to the youth or to the veterans. Um, we want everybody to understand what's expected when we go between those lines. Can't wait for camp, Wash. Can't wait to get you down there and uh, start working and doing what you do. We appreciate the visit today. Happy holidays to you and your family, and we'll talk to you in 2024. Happy holidays to you and, and, and your family, and, and happy holiday, Harold, to you and your family. And thank you guys so much for having me on this morning.